Hello everyone, my name is Jose Lizardo, and in this video we're going to see how we can use an Arnold Sky Dome in combination with an Arnold Physical Sky uh, to light this exterior shot. Uh, so let's jump right in. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is just render out my scene to show you that there is no lighting that's going on in here. It's just a building with a black background. The other point that I want to make um, is that Arnold is always doing what we call image-based lighting, or IVL. Uh, that's basically saying that whatever is in the, in the environment, it's going to be used uh, to light the scene. You can disable this behavior, but this is default behavior. And right now I have a black color swatch, a black environment, so there is no lighting information. But if I were to make this, let's say, white, for example, then it immediately Immediately I have lighting. Again, this is to illustrate the fact that Arnold is always doing image-based lighting uh, with whatever you give it in the environment. So we're going to set this back down to black because we want better control over that environment. And to do that, we're going to use an Arnold Sky Dome. So I'm going to go ahead and create an Arnold light. And what's really nice about Arnold lights is that it's one light object that encompasses basically all of the different light subtypes. So if I expand my type here, you see that we have, we have all access to all of these different types of lights. I'm going to go ahead and create a Sky Dome, pop it into my scene, and you see that the rendering starts to take place. Now, of course, the default values are a little uh, intense. So it's very blown out, but we can adjust these directly on the light object, which is really nice about Arnold lights. You have ex access to, of course, your intensity, but also your exposure value. So I can bring this exposure way down to get a much better looking result. What I can also do is uh, change the coloring. So if I don't want white, maybe a blue or a sky, which is a little bit more natural, we can do that as well. We can also make the light shape visible, which basically will uh, show it in the background in the rendering itself. So we can bring that color in. And then from here, what we can also do is, rather than use a solid color, uh, is use a shader or a texture to uh, be as uh, to be used as a sun source. You can also plug in a HDR image directly into here, as we saw on a different on a different video. But this time here, what we're going to do is bring in a physical sky from Arnold, which is a shader that is built for Arnold. It's uh, an Arnold proper shader, um, and we can bring this right into our slate editor and start making adjustments to this guy in order to customize and personalize the look and feel. So I can turn on and off my azimuth elevation. As you see here, we have access to those individual uh, parameters, uh, azimuth and elevation, so I can modify those. I can really customize and create the exact sunlight effect that I want. We also have access to more artistic controls. Well, first of all, we're going to adjust the sun size here. But then you can do things like tint your sun and tint your sky to really get that creative sort of uh, control over your final render. Um, and very quickly, you can see that you can create a very nice looking uh, render uh, with this physical sky shader inside of a sky dome uh, light. Thanks for watching.